The Ace Tech Lighter BT Tracer Unit. Red BBs, green BBs, built-in chronograph. And is it better than a brighter C? You're going to be surprised. So let's crack open this box and check it out. So here's the box it comes in. So if we crack this open and let's see what we get. All right, in this package we have our tracer unit. We have our instruction booklet. We get a cord so we can recharge it. We get a new uh, plate here in the front so we can use it on different, uh, different systems. And my guess is this is the face plate that fits up front here. And English instructions that are really, really small. And I don't know who wrote this, but they must have really good eyes. So let's go over the features so you guys don't have to read it. So to charge it, we just plug in the USB adapter and this little LED comes on, turns red showing it's charging. And once that light goes out, then we know it's fully charged. It comes with a metal, fa a metal face plate here to protect your, your tracer unit. It also comes with an M11 clockwise and an M14 counterclockwise adapter. And to install these, you just unscrew the top of it here. Pull off one adapter plate. The next adapter plate goes on. There's two little holes you match up and the on-off switch. It slides on over that. And then you just screw it back together. So to operate the lighter BT, you just come to the switch back here. You press it one time to turn it on, just a short press. And you'll see this LED right here just flashed red to let us know that it's set up for red BBs. To change it over to green BBs, you press and hold this until the flashing green LED shows a solid green. And once that is done, you are now set up for green BBs. To turn it off, all you have to do is short press the button one time and then it turns off. Now we turn it on again and it remembers the selection of BBs you had. So this time if I turn it on, the LED is solid green to show that I am set up for green BBs already. So for size comparison, here's the Ace Tech Brighter C and here is the Ace Tech Lighter BT. You can see the Brighter C is smaller. The Ace Tech Lighter BT is a little bit bigger. But now let's do a test between the two of them to see which BBs glow the brightest and the longest. So I used Precision Tracer BBs from evic.com. And what I did was I put five green through the brighter C, five green through the lighter BT, and also five red through the lighter BT. What I didn't do was set the lighter BT up for red BBs only. So they didn't glow as long. But I was really surprised that even though the tracer unit is set up for green BBs, it will still make the red BBs glow. So here's five red BBs through the tracer unit when it's set up for red BBs. The app for the Tracer unit is available on both the Apple iOS and Android. I have an Android phone, so I went to the Google Play Store and searched for Ace Tech Lighter BT. At this point, I didn't know the name of the app, but it's called Asoft. Search for that instead and install it. Once you have the app loaded, you can access the menu by selecting the button with the four horizontal bars on the upper right-hand corner of your screen. First, I suggest you verify you have the latest firmware version. The Tracer unit automatically shuts off after 40 minutes of non-use. You can turn that feature off by selecting Tracer function and turning power saving off. When power saving is off, the LED on the Tracer blinks twice per second. When the power saving is on, the LED blinks once per second. There's also a self-test, but it takes a bit for the app to recover after the test is complete, so be patient. You can also change the BB color setting here by pressing the green or red buttons. The selected color will be highlighted in either red or green. To get the most accurate joules reading for the chronograph, you have to select the BB weight. To do this, first select ammo size. Since I'm going to be testing the chrono with .25 gram BBs, I'll change the first line to .25. The chronograph is the first thing you see when you start the ASOF app. To turn it on, select the button under speed. When you turn on the chrono, the tracer function will be disabled. The chronograph remembers your last chrono results. You can clear them by selecting the broom icon at the bottom of the screen. Now let's test the chronograph. So I'm using in all of these tests, EVIC or EVIC as some people say, Precision Tracer BBs in both the red and the green. There's a link down in the description if you want to check them out. You'll also find links for a chronograph and also links where you can find out where you can get yourself a lighter BT or a brighter C. So I have my X Cortec chronograph and I have my Specna E11. I use this when I do CQB. And I have the lighter BT tracer unit on it. I'm going to set it up to chronograph 
And then let's compare the two readings to see how accurate the lighter BT chronograph really is. So I shot about 15 rounds through my lighter BT into my X Cortec Mark III. And these are the results I got. The biggest difference I had was on the fifth shot, the X Cortec measured 310.5 FPS or 1.115 joules, while the brighter T said I shot 306.7 FPS or 1.09 joules. That's only a difference of 1.22%. I think that's pretty outstanding. So the only limitation to the chronograph function in the lighter BT is you cannot have the chronograph function turned on and use it as a tracer unit. So if you wanted to play a night game and keep your phone in your vest, keep a running list of the speed of all your shots, you can't do it. Because once you turn the chronograph function on, like I said, the tracer unit doesn't work anymore. You don't get the glowing BBs, you won't get the flash. So which one do I recommend? And that really depends on you. I don't want to mention price right now. Down in the description, you'll find the links. And in the links, it'll take you to evic.com. I'll show you the price of these things. The last time I mentioned a price, I got a whole lot of hate mail because the price went up. I can't be held responsible for fluctuating prices, guys. I'm sorry, so I'm not going to mention prices anymore. But I will tell you this. The brighter C is about half the price of the lighter BT. Now, to compare them both together, the faceplates on the brighter C is made out of plastic. The faceplate on the lighter BT is made out of metal. And likewise, in the back, the adapters. The adapter for the brighter C is plastic, while the adapter for the, on the lighter BT is made out of metal. So if you're looking for a lightweight, fairly inexpensive tracer unit that's very bright, that has two adapters on it, I recommend the brighter C. But if you want red and green BBs, maybe even a chronograph function, I mean, you don't have to buy one of these. You just put this up to your gun and shoot through it, and it'll work just fine. Then I recommend the lighter BT. So right up here in this corner, I have my review of the brighter C. I think you'll like it. And up in this corner, I have my review of the Runcam Scope Cam 2 4K, a really outstanding camera. I'd really appreciate it if you clicked on the links down in the description. I am an affiliate with evic.com, so I get a small amount for each of your purchases, and all of that money is going to go to me buying really good things for giveaways. Thanks for watching, guys. You have a good night. Shrek out.